free speech today. Would well, either of you have time for a short interview? Yeah. Yeah. We have an interview. All right, you're next. Yes, please. What is this uh, for? We're we're live streaming to YouTube okay. and uh, it, to the Juggling Lessons channel and to Courts of Curiosity. Yep. Okay. So it's uh, an interesting hobby for us. We like to talk with people. So when you say uh, maybe I should ask online. Sure, sure. Are you all right if I don't wear cans? Uh, that's okay. I'll clean them, but that's fine too. Yeah, yeah. I'll just uh, I'll just go. I'll yeah. Just, if I have trouble hearing you, I'll put them on. But, okay. Uh, it, it should be clear enough. Yeah. 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 Good. So when you say street, hi, I'm sorry. You go. You start. Okay. Well, street epistemology. Yes, that's the thing we're doing. Hi, I'm uh, Liam McAnini. Hello, Liam. Uh, thank you for having me as your guest. How do I spell your first name? Oh my God, I have the same exact iPad uh, cover. That's that's great. Cool, cool. Uh, first name L I A M, last okay. name M C. That's enough. Unless uh, we'll we'll be happy to put anything you like in the description, like a connect contact. Oh sure, yeah, yeah. Okay. You can uh, anyone can find me at heyitsliam.com. Nice. Okay. So and, and this is Alana Amram. Hello, who's Alana. A great musician, singer, songwriter. Excellent, excellent. We are we are live streaming. Are we okay that you're being recorded in live streams? Hell yeah. Okay, good. So, uh, did any of those claims interest you? You can bring any topic you like. Wait, before we start, though, yeah. uh, I just am curious. Uh, what, is, what do you mean by street epistemology? Street epistemology is a conversational method where we come to you, ask you something you believe, uh -huh. ask you your reasons, get down to your epistemology, to your authorities, what values you hold, and try very hard to not argue from an alternative position. Okay. It's a method whereby we can have interested and interesting conversations with people with n no concern with whether we agree with them or not. Okay. It's, so, a, it's a way to get across lines of polarization, for example. Okay. Uh, I totally forget what all the topics were. So if you pick one, I'll go with it. Okay. Read. Uh, can most people be healthy at any time? Can most people be healthy at any size? That's a great question. Okay, great. Where do you stand on that? Uh, you know, uh, so if you, uh, so you can see me. I, I, I have always struggled with weight my whole life. It's uh -huh. just kind of been a physical, emotional uh, roller coaster for me. Okay. Uh, and I, I think the answer is no. You can't be healthy at any size because, uh, you know, there's just a point where the human body is just, like, you, like a, you know, there's a point where you push the human body past past where it's designed to go. It's okay. like, like your body's like a finely tuned machine, like a, like a Ferrari or, or a, you know, mm. some people are a Toyota or, you know, whatever. Do we easily get out of tune? Yeah. Or like a gremlin, you okay. know, <laughs> like a gremlin. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> right. And so, and so the thing is like, there, there's certain things that, the, that, uh, that your body is designed to do. There's certain weights your body is designed to carry. Uh, and, and when you push your body to the limit in any way, whether it's, whether it's like, you go very heavy, or, or you go very skinny. Uh -huh. Like there's just a point where it's just it's not healthy anymore. You're 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 abusing your body. Okay. Confidence scale. What's that? A, on a confidence scale. Uh huh. This is you're absolutely sure that there are some weights that are just not healthy. I am. Although and, I know uh, people on the internet are going to attack me. Okay. For uh, for having this opinion. And and this would be. There, there's, there's no weight people can achieve that's unhealthy. Where would uh, you find yourself on that? I'm scale? on the, con I'm way, I'm in the black. Way over you might here. want to push, keep pushing that red. Keep, keep pushing, pushing the red. red. Keep pushing. Until it hits your thumb, brother. Okay. That's so do, you, uh, is there any uh, sliver of doubt? No. Okay. So what leads you to that very strong conclusion? Uh, you know, I mean, again, I, I can tell you, I've, I've been up and down the scale, and uh -huh. uh, I am actually very fortunate in that. The only health issues I really have at this weight uh, is high blood pressure. Okay. And it's not, it's not even like a like danger, like in the danger zone. It's okay. just something it's manageable. That, it's just I can't stop eating salt. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. It's the last thing I'm allowing myself. Salt. I've yes. given up everything else. Okay. <laughs> I hear you. Um, and now I have to give up salt, and it's it's literally killing me. Oh. Not literally. I mean, the salt is literally killing me. I hear you. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's. You have to choose between versions of what literally means. Right. Yeah. 
So I'm looking for a hypothetical. Okay. Uh, and and I, I usually start with the up hypothetical, but you're at 100. percent So I might have to I might have to torture the way I ask the question. Dude, fucking push it. Totally. So, what kind of data would increase your confidence? What could you learn tomorrow? Something you don't know today that would make you more sure that there are some weights that are objectively unhealthy. What would I... I mean, honestly, I'm so confident that I'm correct mm -hmm. on this that uh, that is, all it would do is just give me more... Give me more con yeah, I mean, anything. Okay. Any scientific studies, any doctor's studies, anything okay. like that. So now the other hypothetical, the uh -huh. obvious other hypothetical, what right. would move your, what would give you a more fl more sliver of doubt? Yeah, honestly, if if something like uh, if if there was a study published in the uh, in the New Jersey in the New Jersey, <laughs> the New Jersey New England <laughs> Journal of Medicine. No, no, the New Jersey Journal of no, the, the, New Jersey the, Journal of Tanning and yes, that's it. and yes. gems. Uh, no, in the New Jersey <laughs> <laughs> gems. Okay. Uh, no, the New England Journal of Medicine. Uh, right. if, there, if, if they published a study, and it was, you know, it was they they double, done a double blind, and yeah. they had, uh, you know, uh, done done all the proper research, and it said like, no, actually, you know, people can really go up to a thousand pounds and be healthier, or you know, like people can really just like uh, get down to eighty five pounds, and it won't like their organs won't start to shut down. Right. That's all a myth or an urban legend. Then I would be inclined to say, you know what, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, cool, cool. Thank you. I really enjoyed this conversation. Thank, Thank you, you very it. much, man. What's your name? I'm Dolly. Dolly, I'm Liam. Hello, Liam. Meet you. you wanna? I, I I invite you to take one of those puzzle pieces, any of the colors. Okay. It's an obvious bribe to have you come back for uh, the other two if you like completing sets of things. Absolutely. And you can squeeze it. Listen, 